Thanks for watching the video. In this clip we're going to show you how to make a Nemo Junior camera bag without the PVC lens cradle. We're going to be adding a, a rectangular piece of very thick, very clear vinyl to the polyethylene bag with the hot glue. Um, this takes a surprisingly good picture through the vinyl. Not as good as, as through the acrylic lens with the PVC lens cradle, but, but it does a very good job. Here we have a piece of cardboard and there's a smaller piece of cardboard to act as a jig and we're, we're cutting out a little rectangular piece. Unfortunately I put the cardboard in the, on the wrong end. It should be at the other end <laughs> because now we, I've cut the slot up at the top of the bag. The top of the bag gets rolled down with the clamp. You want the, the uh, part that's cut out near the bottom of the bag, not at the top. So um, <laughs> we're starting off wrong here. Oh. Now put the uh, paper towel on and we're going to squirt it with Windex. I use Windex because if it dries on your vinyl it doesn't leave any marks. So the, uh, the liquid is going to help dissipate the heat. We're going to be putting some hot glue on the perimeter of that uh, rectangular hole we just cut and adding a piece of thick vinyl. And when we add the, the hot glue, this has to be done very quickly. You only have 10 seconds, not more. Um, you, you might want to practice a few times on, on something before you add your vinyl. Uh, this vinyl I got on eBay. It's a very thick vinyl. Uh, it's used in restaurants to cover tables and uh, it's in use in uh, upholstery. It, it's uh, surprisingly clear. Y you, you do have to go through some of the roll to, to find parts that don't have any wrinkles or blemishes, but um, I was able to get a lot from the part I bought and I've been very happy with it. Now you've got 10 seconds. You're going to use a little piece of cardboard in your hand to, to press down now, otherwise you're going to burn your finger. And you might burn your finger anyway. No. <laughs> okay, press the bit down really hard. Now, this doesn't always work. After you're done, you're going to test this. And you could get a, a, a leak because this isn't a foolproof method. But it, it works more often than not. And you're going to test it before you, you continue with your camera anyway. So you might want to have more than one piece of vinyl. Now, don't put it out quick like I did. I should have waited because you run the risk of having pieces of hot glue come across your lens or your vinyl. Also, use scissors that are blunt on the end because this vinyl is very easy to, to uh, or excuse me, this plastic is very easy to cut. We're just cutting it right down to the edge of the glue. After we do that, uh, we'll get out the duct tape. Um, the duct tape now comes in so many different colors. I'm using black here, but you don't have to use the gray silver anymore. You can use red, blue, anything you want. And I'm not doing a very uh, fancy job here. I'm just putting on quick to show you how it goes. You could take your time and angle your corners and make something a little better than what I'm doing. The, the tape is both cosmetic and it does help back up the uh, hot glue. Like I said, when you're done with this, you can uh, uh, open it up and put it in some, some water and seal the edge first and press on it and see if you get any bubbles. You're only going to be going down to about 10 feet with this also. 10-12 feet. At least that's about as far as I've taken them. Okay, let's see what's next. Pressing that down hard on the old glue. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks very much. I'm going to show you something else next on how to assemble your camera inside the bag.